Hello class, this is Charles Adams again, and uh, this week's focus is on the fundamentalist, modernist controversy, and today I've chosen to speak about an individual involved with that controversy, and his name is J. Gresham Machen. Alright, I do not really have an opinion of the man, and that is because historians must be objective and honest in their investigations. Um... I, I really went with this individual because I feel like his name is mentioned often this week, uh, but but we really aren't told too much about him. Um, we're, we're we're told about uh, his his famous book um, Christianity and uh, Liberalism, but I, I kind of had the feeling like there was more to him than that. Um, so it's going to read to you a little bit. Uh, give you a little insight to uh, Machen um, to begin with from our textbook, uh, A History of Christianity, Christianity in the United States and Canada. Uh, and this is on page 376. Fundamentalist responses to altered American conditions and specifically to modernism ranged across a broad spectrum. A few of the fundamentalist leaders such as J. Gresham Machen um, he lived, or he was alive from 1881 uh, through 1937. Argued their case in academy. All right, Machen was a New Testament scholar who taught at Princeton Seminary before establishing Westminster Theological Seminary in Philadelphia in 1929 uh, to provide an alternative to the increasingly inclusive stance of Princeton. In his major polemical work, Christianity and Liberalism, uh, which was published in 1923, he made the case that the theological changes proposed by such modernists as A.C. McGifford and Shaler Matthews changed the inherited faith so radically as to make up a new religion. With this and other works, Machen won the respect of secular intellectuals such as H.L. Mencken and Walter Lippmann, but he did not win over the modernists. All right, so it mentions um, the book Christianity and Liberalism, and then it also says um, other works. So uh, by looking at these newspaper da databases, um, I was able to look at the one uh, from the Library of Congress, and I found a newspaper titled The Presbyterian of the South. Uh, and there's a section in that newspaper called Books Worth Reading. And it highlights a book that was written by Machen called The Origin of Paul's Religion. So I just want to read to you um, what it says about that. All right, the Origin of Paul's Religion by Professor J. Gresham, Gresham Machen, Assistant Professor of New Testament Literature and Ex Exegesis in Princeton Theological Seminary, Publishers, the Macmillan Company in New York. This volume is the series of lectures delivered by Dr. Machen on the Sprunk Foundation at Union Theological Seminary in Richmond, Virginia. In these lectures, Dr. Machen treats in an intensely interesting way the whole subject suggested by the title of the book. An idea of the scope of the treatment can be seen from the titles of the chapters. The early years, the triumph of Gentile freedom, Paul and Jesus, the Jewish environment, the religion of the Hellenistic age, redemption and pagan religion, and in Paul, the lordship of Jesus. These various topics are treated in a masterly way, showing great study and a clear grasp. He who reads this book will learn a great deal about the religion of Paul and about the salvation which he preached. The author shows that Paul's religion and Paul's doctrine or redemption are absolutely inseparable, that both were derived from Jesus, and that the only Jesus from whom they could proceed is a supernatural Jesus of the New Testament. Um, I didn't know that book existed, but um, I'm actually intrigued. I'm interested in, in giving it a read. If you like a co or if you like to look at um, that article, I have provided the link in the discussion board post. Thank you for your time.